Hi everyone and happy 7.30. I'm Lou Abdu. Uh, you might also know me as the Veteran Coordinator at Canada House, Edmonton. Today we are going to make kale and black bean quesadillas with uh, cannabis infused seasonings and sour cream. So the ingredients that we are going to need for today are our black beans, kale, which I will point out as a vegetarian, I'm not a fan of kale, uh, but it seems to be in almost every recipe lately. So, and it's good for us, so we're gonna use it. We're gonna use tomato and onion, fresh lime and fresh garlic, and of course, cilantro. And we're gonna use uh, two different types of cheese because I love cheese. And of course, we're gonna put in extra garlic because I love garlic. And we're gonna use our Italian seasoning and we're going to infuse the Italian seasoning and our sour cream with our decarbed cannabis. And today I'm using ABBA Medics Locomotion. It's a hybrid THC. It's uh, 100 and I believe 57 milligrams of cannabis. And uh, let's get started. So I have zested the lime and in a few seconds, we're gonna juice the lime. I've cut up the tomatoes. I have cut up the cilantro, cut up the onions and minced the garlic. The recipe called for one small clove of garlic. I put three of the biggest cloves of garlic I could find. And I would put more garlic, but I do wanna enjoy some of the other flavors in the food today. I've also mashed up the black beans and now we have our seasoning. And this is just an Italian seasoning blend. And while I'm getting this ready, I just want to let you know that we, I'm coming to you live from our trailer site in Sylvan Lake. Uh, this is my place where I love to come and relax. And these beautiful gardens were here when we moved in and I have made it my mission to try to keep this beautiful garden going. And one of the things I find that when I'm feeling any type of anxiety or I'm just not feeling well, I'll have uh, a small cannabis uh, cookie and then I'll go out and garden and I can spend hours in the garden. I'm so relaxed and I find that my uh, anxiety is greatly reduced while I'm gardening. Okay, so what are we gonna do now? Um, first, let me just uh, juice these limes. We wanna get as much juice as we possibly can out of them. Good. And I'll just do the other one here real quick. So I did mention at the start that what I'm using is ABBA Medics uh, Locomotion. It is a, it's a hybrid with a um, indica dominant. And I believe the milligrams are actually 175.6 milligrams per gram. So it's not the highest THC, uh, but it's gonna do just lovely if we're gonna be feeding this to uh, you know, our friends. Okay, so how I decarbed my um, flour was I put it in a mason jar and I submerged it in a water or like left it floating on the water on a slow cooker and I cooked it on high for about two and a half hours. Okay, and then I just ground it up. So I'm going to take our seasoning and I'm not going to be overly generous. I'm going to put in, uh, well, maybe I will. How about half a teaspoon of decarbed? So we'll put, there we go. We're not going to make it so that it's overflowing, but whoop a little bit more to make it uh, half a teaspoon. We'll put it in there and we're gonna mix it up. So we're also gonna, going to be using a little bit more of the decarbed flour in the sour cream. And that way our guests will be able to add sour cream if they don't find the cannabis strong enough for them. And maybe they want a little extra. Okay, so now that we've got all this done we're ready to start putting it together. So we're going to combine the tomatoes and our oh, 
get in there. We don't want to miss any part of it. And our cilantro. We're going to put in half the onions. Seems about half. And then we're going to put in half the lime zest. And we'll just put in half the lime zest. Seems about half. And then we're going to put in half the juice. I'm just going to lift the lid to see. That's about what a medium sized lime, the amount of juice it gets. So we'll put in about half of that in there. A little bit more. Set it aside. We're going to also put in a tablespoon of oil. I always like to use extra virgin olive oil, healthier for you. And I don't want to make it sound like I'm a vegetarian and extra virgin olive oil is better for you because if you put a donut in front of me, forget the donut. If you put an apple pie in front of me, I will eat that apple pie all by myself. So I don't want you to think that I'm trying to promote this wonderful healthy lifestyle. Uh, I will eat that apple pie. Good, so let's add some salt and pepper. and some pepper and then let's mix this all up so we're here at the barbecue and I've already heated up the pan uh, and of course it's uh, the cast iron gets so hot so we're going to make sure that we've got the appropriate uh, uh, PPE protective equipment so we want to put in about a tablespoon of oil and I don't measure this part I just pour a little bit in. That's about enough. So I will put the cap back on my oil and now we're going to get our onions. And you'll see this pan actually has been cooking for a little bit so it might be a little hot. Oh, it's good. Oh, temperature. And we're just going to put these in, you know, three or four minutes, just until they get soft. So these onions have been cooking, and they are perfect now. See how they're going light brown? That means they are perfect. So now we're going to kind of ruin it, those perfect onions, by adding kale. So we'll throw in the kale. And kale has uh, some lumpy parts of the vine, and so they need a little longer to cook. So we're going to add about two tablespoons of water. Okay. And we'll stir this about. And then I'm just going to let this cook until the kale, uh, the ends become soft. We don't want them being so hard to chew through. Okay. So that's it. I'm going to let this cook now for five to six minutes. So we have our Mexican seasoning. I, I do believe I said Italian seasoning, and I did mean Mexican uh, seasoning. I'm not sure, maybe the Italian tad quesadillas, but that's not our concern today. So what I'm gonna do is take out half a teaspoon of our Mexican blend with our cannabis. And we're gonna take out half a teaspoon and I'm gonna add a little bit more of our cannabis, not too much. Uh, maybe I'll take, I'll see what a quarter teaspoon looks like when I go to put it in. Oh yeah. So I'll take quarter teaspoon uh, more of cannabis and put it in with our Mexican seasoning and we'll stir that up. And we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna infuse uh, the sour cream with the seasoning. And that way, if people would like to put sour cream with inf that's infused with cannabis on their quesadilla, 
they're free to do that. And if you didn't want to, we'll have um, just regular sour cream. Good. So now we're gonna go back to our barbecue. Oh, wonderful. I wish you could smell that. It smells wonderful. So that's our onion and our kale. Notice how I didn't say the kale smells wonderful. And now we're going to be adding our garlic, our three cloves of garlic into the kale and the onion. So let's just get that off there. I don't want to miss any of that garlic. And as soon as I can start to smell the garlic, hmm, I can smell a little bit. But I, there we go. Now I'm starting to smell it. Good, good, good. So we'll put that aside. And now we're going to put in our beans that we mashed earlier. They're a little dry now, but they're going to get lots of fluid and get all puffy again. Get a little moisture in there. Okay. And now we're going to sprinkle in our remaining Mexican seasoning that's been infused with the locomotion. Sprinkle it all over so we try to get a very good consistency. Doesn't always work, but uh, to try to make sure that you get good infusion throughout the entire meal, the key really is to keep mixing, keep stirring and breaking it down. You know what? We do that, we do our best, and there's still times where somebody will get uh, a slice of quesadilla uh, that's a little more infused than other pieces and somebody has a really fantastic night and one person is uh, huh are you sure it was infused so we're going to just keep stirring this keep stirring this and if we need we can add you know, a couple of tablespoons of water and we're just going to keep stirring Okay, so our bean mixture with kale and garlic and onions is finished. So what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer it to this bowl. Ah, thank you. I'd like to thank my husband, Jason Watts for his assistance in this uh, whole production. And it is our anniversary one day this week. That's, it's our 18th wedding anniversary and neither one of us can remember if it's on the 26th, the 27th or the 28th. So happy anniversary, my love, to whenever it happens. Happy anniversary to you as well. Love you. I love you. Okay, so we're going to take off our Mexican seasoning that's infused with the um, indica and we're going to mix it in with our sour cream. Okay. And you can do this in advance and put it back in the fridge and you, that way your sour cream will have time to absorb the cannabis and uh, they will blend nicely together. And again, if having the amount of cannabis that you saw go into the bean mixture is enough, then by all means, you don't need to put the sour cream that's infused on your quesadilla. You can use regular sour cream. We're gonna put in even more oil. And you wanna put in you know, a couple of tablespoons, really. We'll set that aside. And then we're gonna take one of our breads and we're gonna put it in the frying pan. And then what I'm going to do is take some of the bean mixture that we set aside, and this is infused with the locomotion cannabis. Good. And then I will get some cheese 
and our cheese is starting to melt. So it's still gonna be delicious, but it doesn't look like nice cold shredded cheese out of the, um... oh, we've got some kids going past. So we'll put some cheese in it. Get off there, I like as much cheese as I can. And then get my spatula. And we're gonna fold it over on itself. We'll move it back out to the middle of the pan. Push down and let that cook. And so we're gonna close the lid to the barbecue and we'll just let that brown up nicely. So we have cooked our quesadilla for three minutes on each side. And it's nice and golden brown, crispy. And we're gonna take that over to the plate where I have uh, made, previously made, a quesadilla because I wanted to practice without an audience and then it worked. Okay, I'll take the plate over and so we have our mixture of tomatoes and onion and cilantro and lime juice and we have our infused sour cream. So what I like to do with them is cut them in half. I should have started with the cold one. And while I'm getting this quesadilla ready and presented well, I'd like to remind you that on Fridays, every second Friday, there is a veteran coffee via Zoom. And I have veterans from all across Canada. And of course we all meet on Edmonton time because that's the center of the universe now. So from 10 till 12, every second Friday. It's just good fun. We don't tell war stories. We, we support each other. We talk about current events and we have a lot of laughs. And if you're Navy, we can't guarantee that some of the Air Force or the Army uh, gentlemen might make a few jokes, but it's all in good fun. So now I've got this plated. So if you'd like to join me, for veteran coffee, you can always contact Canada House and just ask for Lou with veteran coffee. And I'll be happy to send you a, an invitation uh, via Zoom. And we'll have a good time. So there we're gonna put our tomatoes and onions. Kind of surprised and disappointed in myself that I did not put garlic in here. The recipe didn't call for it, but I can't believe I did that to myself. So I do want a little more oomph with my quesadilla, so I'm going to add a little bit of the sour cream. I'll put it right here in the middle, and that way I can just dip my triangles in there. Another wonderful aspect of coming to the trailer, besides the relaxation, is uh, the very interesting phenomenon uh, where I don't get bit by mosquitoes. They just don't like me. But because of the beautiful gardens, I have endless ladybugs. And guess who does bite me? Those little ladybugs. And it's not like a mosquito bite where it's like, oh, ouch. When they bite, they bite. And I've always got them on my arms or my legs while I'm gardening. And I'm not even sure if that's a thing for anyone else. So is anyone else? Uh, get bit by ladybugs on a regular basis. What do you do about it? So this is it. I'm going to add a lime to my plate and I am going to start enjoying this right now. Hmm. I can taste the garlic and it's wonderful. It's not a weedy taste. All of the flavors from the, the cilantro and the lime and the garlic, they come through. So enjoy.